So today's video is going to be about the Cryo Rig C7 RGB fan. Now I don't know when the actually CPU air cooler is actually out or in, but I know that I've got it so I can show you it because I've done a few Cryo Rigs uh, CPU air coolers and they are pretty decent. They do move a bit of air and stuff. So uh, what I did is I've done a build. So I'll leave a link in the description down below where you can go and check out the build and see how easy it is to exit to to um assemble that'd be the word i'm looking for and um yeah how long it takes um literally it's minimal design and it does push air and i've had this computer on for uh, over 24 hours now i'm using 9900k in there 2080 ti msi uh, motherboard with decent heat sinks but everything could, look, could be able to produce a bit of heat but also be zapped out with the case as well to keep it cool um and I tell you what, it's doing really, really freaking well considering it's got 100 TDP uh, watt rating, uh, whereas the 9900K has got 95 watt rating. But I've done used it as real world results and it worked fine. It didn't crash, it didn't get hot or anything like that. But if you're going to overclock, then obviously that's going to go a lot more higher for your thermals. But yeah, as you can see, for 24 hours, I left it on and um, it's been idle. All the CPU, like the lowest point, it's been about 42 degrees and a couple of spikes here and there when I've been on internet and stuff using Ada 64. And uh, yeah, it's been really, really quite cool. Um, I'm gonna leave all the dimensions and everything on the actual screen itself so you can check out all the specifications, but like we'll go through a couple. It's an RGB 12 volt um, cable that goes in there, but I'm sure I had a five volt that I connected into the motherboard, which has sort of like, it looks like four holes, but it's not, it's got three holes and it takes up a spot down there, which is a five volt connector. Um, obviously 100 watt TDP uh, rating, but it also says they can fit motherboard compatibilities is 1150, 1155, 1156, 1151, FM1 socket, FM2+, plus, AM2+, plus, AM3+, plus, and AM4 for your Ryzen CPU. So nothing for 266, which can have a higher, you're gonna need a uh, much more of a headroom for the thermals on uh, those bigger CPUs and stuff. Um, it has got a bit of copper on there, not a lot of copper, but um, it is cooling it down. It does have a brother, an older brother, which I was looking um, on the Cryo Rig's website, and it's the Cryo Rig C C7CU, and that's 15% uh, more cooling it's meant to be, but I'll have to get hold of that to find out. Everyone's CPU runs differently. If you've got decent silicone, your CPU is going to run cooler and then you can use like better CPU air cooler fans. But for your baseline to not go any higher and spend loads of money and still eat RGB, you can go with this one. But obviously if you're going to overclock and do more things that are going to be more demanding on the CPU thermals, then obviously I say to opt with Cryo Rig's bigger CPU air coolers, which are good because they've got good clearances on the actual memory as well. So as you can see, it's those sort of degrees, the highest point is like 45 degrees. I was getting like 50, 55 degrees while I was gaming and I was playing the game for about half hour to 45 minutes and it weren't struggling at all. Streaming is going to be a little bit more different because of the AVX uh, instructions that it needs and it needs to like really stress the CPU a little bit more to stay more stabilised and stuff, especially with the graphics card. The graphics card will start producing more heat and obviously in turn we'll be going towards the CPU air cooler to the heat. Um, to the heat sinks and the MOSFETs and the chokes and stuff. So everything's going to be starting to warm up and everything like that. But, and then obviously the RAM, it just stays at its own degrees. Um, so it's never going to run too hot, but it depends if you overclock your RAM, then obviously it's going to run a little bit higher. But everything's stuck right now. And that's what you're going to get for running a 9900K. So I can recommend the CPU air cooler for that. Um, let's uh, test the game out quickly so I can show you what it looks like. Still no thermal uh, overheating detected and still in a very clear uh, control of uh, thermal frequencies right there. Look at that person. What the hell? Diving up in there. Oh look, people are getting killed already and they haven't even landed yet. Oh my god, look, jeez. 
I don't even know. If I want... Oh, look, people are dropping in there. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, no, no. Don't let me drop down there. Oh, no, you never. Get that, get that, get that. I don't think it's going to really matter, though. It's going to be too late for me. No! Right, let's have a look at that anyway. What is, what was that spiked up on? See that? Like, this is real world results. So I was using a certain amount of percentage. You can see this is where it clearly spiked and that. And this is where the temperature is at 68, 65. So we're in the BIOS now. And um, from cold boot, you see a uh, CPU temperature is 39 degrees. My board temperature 35 degrees. And we're just going to take a look because obviously it's all on stock at the moment. I haven't even got my uh, memory at its normal clock speed or anything like that at the moment. So where's the CPU? CPU air cooler is running at 1,557 rotations per minute. And it states on here that, yeah, so we can go up to 2,500 rotations per minute. So I've done a stress test with all the CPU uh, cores and logical cores going at the same time for about two hours and it did have some thermal throttle issues and stuff but no one's going to use their computer at like 100% totally all the time. It will drop down and then cool down and then come back up again so that's what it was doing. This CPU air cooler is okay, it's not too bad. But yeah, it's also on a 12 volt. So if you've got a newer motherboard, you're gonna have to find out if that motherboard is uh, capable of using that cable, which is an RGB um, 12 volt uh, cable, rather than uh, a five volt. With uh, the RGB obviously connected to your motherboard, if you go into, say you've got ASRock, Asus, um, MSI, which you've got there, you can go into it and you can basically go into the software and change the color preferences to match the motherboard so it goes in with the CPU air cooler as well, which is pretty cool. So let's go and have a look at that real quick. So I'm just going to run a quick um, CPU test with ADAS 64. So a bit synthetic, just so we've got a little base mark right now with it being stock. So this will, like, this utilizes your uh, computer quite a bit with a CPU. So let's go. CPU's going. As you can see, 76 degrees, 80 degrees at the moment. Uh, 81. So obviously the performance gain with a clock score of 1869, it's the performance drops down a little bit to compensate for the cooling. If you want the best performance for your CPU, yeah, for your CPU, then opt for CryRig's bigger CPU air coolers. But it just shows that if you ain't got enough money to to get that and you want a smaller CPU air cooler, whatever your your things are going to be then you can opt for that one as a base mark and then obviously you want more performance then go up in CPU air coolers. Yeah so I can go into here and I can literally control it by just pressing apply and there we've got the RGB and it's going all in sync with everything else. It's not considered to be as bright as what I thought it would be but it's bright enough and the brightness is on high. So I can still do whatever I like to do, just in the software itself. So you see it's blinking and everything like that. It's pretty cool. Let's turn the lights off. So here's a quick sound test and obviously you've seen the RGB going. So I'll leave that off for like, I won't speak for like a, about a minute. And then you can just hear like how the CPU air cooler is going. I 
noticed about um, the CPA cooler with this software is the fact that it doesn't like everything that I'm using so if I go into pop where's that gone oh, it doesn't even have it all right I had another one that I was using and it wouldn't it wouldn't work just a second ago so this is steady this should be flashing Right, so there we go, we've got flashing now. All right, uh, breathing. Okay, we've got the breathing going on. Okay, this profile's working, so I guess you just have to go to make sure the motherboard and DRAM is uh, synced together and it'll work all together. Yeah, let's do a different color. Yellow. Yep. Okay. Okay. So basically, that's the end of the review. So subscribe, share, follow me on all social media platforms, and check out the video clip for this so it makes more sense to you about the CPA call, um, how the, the build was, and everything like that. And uh, check out the links as well if you want to purchase it because it's definitely recommended. As you can see, it does work pretty well and it's not too loud. And yeah. There's a merch store down below. Check it out if you want to support the channel or whatever like that. Buy something from me, from Max Stout. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Roger and out.